In this TradingView tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up watch lists like a boss. And you'll be on your way to mastering your trading business using TradingView charts. So let's get started with that right now. More and more people are realizing that TradingView is an excellent charting platform. And when you're getting started with TradingView, the first thing that you want to do is to set up and organize your charts so that you can get some work done in your trading business. In this layout on TradingView, you can see watch lists are on the right side of the screen. And right up here, this is the name of the chart that I'm currently displaying here. And if I click that drop down menu, I can choose create new list. So I'm going to show you, here's what you do. You go create new list. So then this window is going to pop up and that's where you can give that list a name. So I'm going to give this list a name U S dollar pairs so that I can organize all of my U S dollar pairs. Cause that's how I do my analysis. And then I, all I have to do next is just click on save and then here's that list and there's nothing in there. So now I can click on this add symbol button. And one of the first things I might do is type in this DXY. So the DXY is a US dollar index. And it's one of the first things that I look at. Now, when I click on that, I have that will come up as a chart. This one is not the one that I want because it doesn't have all the time frames and I'm not sure what that is. So all I got to do is just X that out. And now I have this one. Okay. So next thing I'll do is I'll click U S or maybe U S dollar. This is exactly what I want right here. S dollar Dow Jones FXEM dollar index from FXEM. Another one here that is from Dow Jones. So either one of those probably work just fine. Okay, so next thing I want to do is click on this add symbol button and maybe add euro dollar. So I have a bunch of euro dollar, several different euro dollar things. And so I can scroll through here and I could choose this one from Olanda or FXCM euro dollar. There's one here from forex.com and I could use that one or any of these would work just fine. So I'm going to add one in there. Now I have a DXY, US dollar, Euro dollar. I could just continue to add different pairs in there. Here's US dollar Swiss. And then I could just proceed to add all of the pairs that I would need for this particular list however you would like to organize your things. And also I organize mine according to a group of pairs and I would go ahead and put in uh, several other US dollar pairs in order to analyze the US dollar and be able to compare things side by side quickly, come to a conclusion about that day's trade. So I have already set up a, quite a few of these lists already and I will. And so therefore this is just doing this as a test what I discovered is I have this list here. It's very easy for me to click on one of these pairs or instruments and drag it to a different position to reorder, to reorder the list. That's, well, that's very easy to do just by clicking and dragging. You can reorder your list and put them in whatever order you would like. But one thing that I couldn't figure out how to do, you click on this to choose which list these are going to display in alphabetical order. Therefore, my US dollar is way down here below the screen. I have to scroll down there to get it. And I kind of would like that to not be like that, but I can't reorder this. At least I haven't figured out a way that you can reorder these things because it's displaying it in alphabetical order. So guess what I figured out how to do if I can just go bring up that list and then click here and rename. Now these are in alphabetical order numbers before letters. So I can put one dash 
and just click outside of that and now that will be the first one. Now I could go to another one, the Aussie pair name. Raise that out there so, you, so you, you are highlighting that area and I could put the number two dash and just click outside. Now when I click on here, US dollar is first, Aussie pairs is second. I can order them however I want by putting these numbers in there. That's just a little that can help you to organize your list and now you can see how easy it is to create watch list and then add whatever instrument you want in that group for that list. And it makes things very useful, makes things very nice, organized. And when I click here, I can just choose any of these things here. Easily go to silver. Here's all the silver pairs, silver against every different currency pair. Click on gold, and then I have all these gold pairs. I can check gold against the dollar time frame look at all time frames the time frame where it's kind of critical for that day's trading then I can begin to compare the pattern to gold against the euro gold against the Swiss gold against the pound even gold against the yen and the Aussie and the Kiwi and then I, I have uh, in silver and some people have added some critical gold mining stocks which again out some of the decisions that be in spot gold the commodity sometimes when you look at the gold mining stocks the pattern might even be more clear than gold itself so that's how you set up watch lists and I hope this will be very valuable to you if you'd like to know what really works in trading just go to tradingmastermind.com and also you can click the link below and sign up for our free trading course that will get you started with what really works in trading. Now, I made another critical video about trading. You can watch that right over here.